Hey, so I've got a couple of problems here involving the quotient of monomials. And what a monomial is, it's just a polynomial with one term. No addition, subtraction. That is a monomial on the top and a monomial on the bottom. And what we're supposed to do is reduce these all the way down. So simplify is usually the directions here. First look at the numerical part. So we have 5 eighths. That won't reduce but we need to reduce these z's. Now, one way you can do it, and this is not, not my advice for any typical problem, but I'm gonna show you the long way of handling it. So in the numerator, we have five, and we have z to the fourth. So that's really z times z times z times z. And in the denominator, we have eight, and we have z to the fifth. So that's five z's multiplied together Okay, now you know when you, when you divide z divided by z, that's just 1. So those can cancel out. And you'll notice all four of them on top cancel out, but it still leaves this one lonely z in the denominator. So our final result is 5 divided by 8z. But now, that's not the way you want to do it every time. And so what the rule says to do is subtract the exponents. So I'm going to do... 5 minus 4. Now, well, wait a minute. Why not 4 minus 5? You could do that as well. There's a section coming up that will say you can subtract them 4 minus 5, and that would give you z to the negative 1. So that would be 5z to the negative 1 over 8, where we just subtracted right here. But now here's what I say. I always take the larger exponent and then you subtract the smaller exponent and you leave it where the larger exponent is. So leave the result where the larger exponent is. Probably a better way to say that. So what I'm going to do is you've got the 5 and the 4. I'm going to do 5 minus 4, but since the 5 is larger, I'm going to leave that in the denominator. So then you have 5 over 8z to the first, and we know z to the first is just 5 over 8z. Okay, so see, you got the same answer no matter how you do it. Now, I'm going to move on to one more problem um, that, that's a little more involved. And so I want you to look at each piece separately. So you have the 20 over 48. That's just the numerical part. You can even think about that as a separate fraction, okay? And then you have the x to the third over the x squared. And then you have y over y to the fourth. And then z squared over z squared. Now, really, this is still just one fraction, but I just want to separate it so you can clearly see what's going on. Now, 20 over 48, fraction lowest terms. So what's the largest number that divides into both 20 and 48? And we know that's 4, right? So 20 goes into 4. I've said that wrong. 4 goes into 20 five times. And then 4 goes into 48, what, 12 times? Now, let's use our rules again that says when you divide the same variable, you subtract their exponents. And you subtract the larger one, minus the smaller one. So that's going to, and you leave it where the larger one is, so it's going to be x to the 3 minus 2, which of course is x to the first. Now when you do that, what stays in the bottom, there's really just an implied 1, but you don't have to write that 1 down there because we already have a 12 down there, okay? So I keep going. I've got y over y to the fourth. Now this time the larger one is in the bottom, and what's the exponent for the y? It's a 1 right? So I have 4 minus 1 is going to give me y to the third, and that's going to go in the denominator. Now in the end down there, I have a z squared over z squared. Since those are the same, that could give you z to the zero, but really they just cancel out, kind of like the z's over here did. So my final result here would be 5x to the first. I don't have to write the one because it's implied over 12y to the third. Okay, hope that helps. Have a great night.